What are you asking for it? You get a deal. Morning. Let's see, I've got this, five, two bats, there's another five, that's ten, and that's eleven. Okay. I get that little shopping cart too, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get this too. Okay. So you get thirteen. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thanks so much. Need help getting it. I should be all right. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Morning. Good. Would you take 20 for the camera? Yeah, we will. Okay. It's actually my sister and she said 20 would be fine. My grandson wanted I said, this kind of camera is, <laughs> you'll get a cell phone someday. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody's it's using phones these days. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. McDonald's toys out here. Oh, okay. That are filled oh, okay. with everything. Uh, a whole box for five dollars or a dollar each. Yeah, I think I bought some glasses from the one here. Yeah. You can buy multiple stuff. Good. Yeah, I that's what I'm looking for. Do deals for. too. You got stuff to wrap stuff up and boxes to put in it so I can see. Good boy. Yeah, it's okay. Bad. I know. <laughs> Nobody even wants to. One day, maybe they'll have the Bengals like one off amazing year and you know. Well, it's just sad because the Reds could have done the same thing. Would you take eight for both of these? Um, yes. Okay. You have any like Red's bobbleheads or anything else you haven't pulled out yet? Mm -mm. Okay. I got about 200 of them in my garage. Do you? <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Yeah, the paint looks really nice on it. What are you asking for it? 40. 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. You have any other old toys like this? That's the only one here, right? The only thing, okay. Would you take 20 for it? 25. You got a deal. There you go, thank you so much. Thank you. Morning. I'm doing great, how are you? How much are your VHS tapes? Uh, 50 cents a piece. Okay. got four of them here uh -huh. there you go okay, thank you have thank a good day you, you too. all right guys i'm back at the shop the garage sales weren't great today but i did find a handful of things I got it all pulled out i'm gonna show you what i bought at the first sale of the day i got this spider-man rc car new in the box for five bucks 
we've got nieces and nephews and you know all kinds of kids in the extended family so i thought i would go ahead and get that as a gift for somebody in the future i also bought a couple bats let's see this one was three this one was two these are both cheaper aluminum bats brand new these things might run 30 or 40 bucks so they don't sell for a lot on eBay, but I can take them to play against sports and probably get close to 10 bucks each, maybe only like seven or eight, but I think there's a little bit of profit there. Usually what I'll do is gather all kinds of sporting goods over time and then just take one big box of plating against sports and kind of do it like that. Got the glove for a dollar. These, um, I'll either take it to plating in sports or I will save it. I do like to hold on the gloves throughout the whole year. And then around like February or March, right before baseball season is about to kick off, I do um, some big baseball glove auctions. And I always do really well like that. Um, any kind of gloves that aren't worth putting on eBay for more than 10 or 15 bucks, I'll just lot them up like that. And then I usually get pretty good prices for them right before baseball season. Coaches are always, you know, buying big glove lots like that. Also at this sale, I got this little play toy cart my daughter and son are always playing uh you know grocery and different things at home so i just thought this was too perfect for them for two bucks so i went ahead and grabbed that I picked up this camera for twenty dollars it's a uh, fujifilm fine picks i've sold the fine picks before this isn't a high-end camera by any means but it's a it's a decent little camera they're selling about like 40 to 60 bucks i'm 20 bucks into it so if i can get 50 for it i'll be pretty happy with that return I got some VHS tapes for 50 cents each. I've been kind of collecting a lot, a lot of my favorite movies as a kid uh, on VHS. Uh, Willy Wonka is one of my favorites. I love Gene Wilder. This was just oddball. Um, and, you know, I was going to, I was at like $1.50. So I was like, you know, what, we'll just throw this one in. Any kind of weird movies like this, if I haven't ever heard of them or seen them, I just grab them. Because a lot of times the, uh, the oddball VHS tapes can do well. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Looks like it's going for about four or five bucks. I got Hook. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Absolute classic. And Rugrats in Paris. Uh, I know a lot of these orange Nickelodeon VHS tapes are uh, starting to gain a little bit of value, so I went ahead and grabbed that. I paid $8 uh, for the pair, so $4 and $4 for this big red machine book. The graphics on this thing are absolutely awesome. The Cincinnati Reds of the 70s were nicknamed the Big Red Machine. And I don't have this book in my collection, so I went ahead and bought that. And this little Cam Newton uh, Funko Pop keychain for four bucks. Thought this was really neat. I'm actually doing a massive Funko Pop auction on Whatnot coming up, and I thought this would be a good, um, like a giveaway freebie, something like that, because it's all sports: it's NFL, MLB, NBA. Thought this would be fitting to give away during that auction. My best find of the day was this 1960s Mark's Ten Toy House. Kind of like a dollhouse, and I knew it was Mark's because the uh, stamp was right here. It's probably really hard to see. They always make these really small, but old Mark's toys can have some really good value. I've never seen one of these houses with all of the furniture pieces. I guess a lot of these, since they were so small, they either got lost or thrown away or whatever. But these can have some value just by themselves. I saw sold comps for this same house anywhere between like $80 to $120, uh, depending on how many different pieces it had with it. So I think there's some profit to be made here. Here's the front side of it. The paint is really nice on this. It needs to be cleaned up at the top a little bit, obviously, but overall in pretty good shape. Definitely keep an eye out for old Mark's toys. If you guys couldn't uh, see that logo right there, I'll flash a big logo on the screen uh, just so you kind of know what you're looking for. I'm also going to flash a uh, picture on the screen of the Funko Pop auction that I'm doing next week. It's going to be on Whatnot uh, Wednesday, April 27th at 1 p.m. Eastern, and there's going to be about 70 pops. It's all sports, and I'm starting every one of them at a dollar. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link down below for that auction, and you get $10 off your first purchase for Whatnot when you sign up. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>